Welcome to Friday Night Fast Breaks. I'm Dave DeRange along with Joe Brett. Tonight you're going to see highlights from North Medford, Grants Pass, and Cascade Christian. Oh boy, some heartbreakers and some really good dominating games actually. It's that time of the year, David, where you win or you go home. Yeah. And uh, it's a tough deal either way and some great games and some games that we saw some matchups that were indicative of teams that were higher seeds. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I got to tell you, I might be in the hot seat for this. My wife actually went to Glencoe High School in Hillsboro. I was mm. trying to give her a hard time about this. North really dominated this one. Let's go to North Medford right now. Senior O'Shea Bailey coming out on the floor. The six-foot guard joining the Black Tornado against Glencoe. They came down from Hillsboro. North Medford begins with a steal here. Brian Bush responding fast, and he'll go to lay it up. No, Aaron Brownmore follows up. North starts the lead, and it will stretch to a big lead. Brian Bush right here for the three, stretching it out. Yes, junior, the junior guard really making plays. Too close on that first one. Yeah. Later, <laughs> O'Shea Bailey has a bite, too. The Black Tornado making it look easy against Glencoe, 14-0 in the first. Bush and Bailey had two threes apiece in the first four minutes. Glencoe couldn't do anything against North's defense. Christian Race to land in Sherborne with that one. You know, I, I guess Glencoe would have their few moments like this one. A little fake there. Shane Rixey with that. But they'd be very few. Glencoe couldn't find any passes. Look at that stretch from Brian Bush to Bailey there. And Bailey's going to play around with that, trying to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Bush puts it up. Nope, rebounds. Up and in. Look at that. It's like a stroll in the park. I'm sorry, honey, but Glencoe oh, having a lot of trouble here. Really, in the first two periods, North Medford could give every player a chance to put a three in. As you can see, the halftime coach Plankenhorn says he wants from his what he wants from his boys is to really finish the game strong. Been in this situation, but we've been ahead and we've struggled late. So uh, we're, we're going to look for us to play the same we did in the first half. Uh, continue to do the same kind of things, work the basketball around defensively, just be all over people um, and improve. So the next game we're ready to go. And they sure did the rest of the game, much like this play, hitting big shots from downtown with plenty of space. And with Medford making the Crimson Tide seem like a ripple from the kiddie pool. Ouch! That's not going to get you anywhere at home. I know. That's why I'm in the hot seat. But hey, North Medford, great win, 81 to 28 over Glencoe. Hey, Brian Bush really came out tonight, kind of his coming out party. That's four threes that I counted for him. And Julian Gray, not in the lineup tonight. Scott Plankenhorn has been playing with a different lineup for most of the last three weeks and just has not had the consistency. But that North team has been in the state semifinals twice in the last two years. They were the third place team a year ago. It's a program with state tournament credentials and experience, and they showed it tonight. They, they were far the better team than Glenn Cohen. It's, it's a little confusing to me. Everybody gets in in the 6A ranks. Yeah. So you get these incredible mismatches in these play-in games. and you know, some, some are better than others, but tonight it, it, that was a team that has got state tournament experience and that mojo in the team and that shows. shows. Yeah, yeah, absolutely.